Okay, so I've now counted all the pages in each book so I know how many is in each book. Because I don't write things down and keep journals because I can't keep, I don't keep up with them. I keep my reading journal and that's fine, but that's about it. So, Colour My Number Flowers by Jade Summer. I still have 23 to do in here. Colour by Number Mandalas, again Jade Summer. There's 21 in here. I have 24 in this one, which is Easy Patterns. So I have made some good progress because there's 50 in this one. In 50 Easy Mandalas, technically I have 25, although I've actually done one this month, which you'll see at the end of the month. Now there's a couple of books. These next few I will probably complete this year. So we've got Easy Flower Mandalas by Stefania Miro. This was one of the very first books I bought and I've got six in here. So if I do one a month, it'll be finished by June, in June. The Kawaii Colour by Number, I have seven of the Kawaii pictures left and then there are five bonus pages, so that's 12. Again, one a month and I'm done. Rose Windows by Creative Haven, I have five left in here. Yay! And I'm going to be colouring that one. Um, Chelsea's Pretty Creations, I've got one left in here. One, I was so close to finishing it last year, but I just ran out of time. Um, with everything else. Now there are some duplicates in this one but I'm going to give the duplicates to Jen. She's already coloured a couple of them but I've got one left so I'm going to try and finish that in January because that would be nice to to show um, the full colouring book and then let Jen finish it off before I put it away. So there we go. So the two that I have now picked to replace the ones that I did finish I won't get anywhere near completing. Um, because they're books that I haven't done a lot on. And the first one is The Sun and Moon Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cover. I love this book. I have done a few, but I'm doing them all in gel pen, as you can see. Now, in this one, I have 26 left. I'll be happy if I get five of those done, to be honest, just because oh, I love this book. I want to do some more in it. I didn't do it to anything in it last year, I don't think. Maybe one? And the second book I picked, I wanted to do some Chibi Girls. I didn't want to do Jade Summer because I've already got four Jade Summer books in the pile and I'm not going to put a Jade Summer one in there until I get rid of one of them. So and that, that'll make me focus on one of those. So, And I didn't want to add another colour by number even though the two I took out were colour by numbers because colour by numbers are just easy and I love them. So we might still complete some of them this year, you never know because I've got a few that I'm really powering through. So I picked Chibi Girls Volume 2 by April Amber. Now I've only done two in this book. Now there are two sets of pictures in this book. So obviously the second set I'm going to give to Jennifer. Now what will probably happen is when I finish colouring my section in is I'll get um, a craft knife and I'll just cut it down the middle. I'll take the covers off and I will put it in a folder. Um, a lever arch file and I've got still got 28 in there so there's 60 in here and I've done two but I really love this book so I really want to crack on and do some more so those are the books I'm going to be focusing on but obviously I have a lot of colouring books I haven't coloured in so what I want to do is to try and colour in as many new books as I can as many uncoloured books as I can. Um, I would like to say two a month, but that'll only give me 24 off of my stacks of hundreds. So I'm not gonna set myself a target because, no. I am a mood colourist. I will colour what I feel like. So if I feel like I've got a, a Valentine's book in there, I got a couple of years ago I haven't coloured in, I'm gonna go and find that in a bit and I will colour in that um, next month. So that'll at least get that one off. I used to try and colour a picture in each one as I got them and that worked for a little bit but not so much anymore <laughs> but we'll see how it goes so what are your colouring plans are you doing 10 books to finish or work on uh this year for me it's 10 books to work on there's maybe how many did I say I might finish one two three four I might finish which would be great and then next year we'll put four new ones in so Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this sort of strange little video about what I plan on doing. I will still keep a note of how many pages I colour per month, even if I don't tell you monthly so I can tell you at the end of the year, and how many colouring books I add to the collection is currently on one. So that's good. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'll see you in the next video. I hope to be filming a colouring chat pretty soon because this week's a bit of a write-off because there's so much going on. Even though Jennifer's back at school, I still got no time to breathe. And I will see you very, very soon. Take care, everybody, and happy colouring.